YouTube friends and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Deidre from Our Upcycled Life and I do lots of thrifting, upcycling, repurposing, and DIY content. And today's video is right full of Halloween DIYs. Everything from air dye clay to candles. And I'm excited to show you what I've created. They're spooktacular. Okay, let's get started. I also want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Our first project is a spooky one. We are going to be using some air dry clay. This is air dry clay that I picked up at our Dollarama and I find that it works really well. I'm just rolling it out until it's about a quarter of an inch thick and then I'm going to cover a glass jar that I've primed with some spray paint and we're going to wrap it around and then just mold it all over that entire jar. And I had to add a little bit of clay here and there to get it completely covered. And it doesn't have to be smooth. We actually don't want to have it smooth. I've got it completely covered over that glass jar. I set it aside, let it dry overnight. Now don't panic because when this dries, this cracks, but that's what we want. So now we've got some toilet paper and I'm just going to decoupage that toilet paper onto that jar over top of those cracks. That's gonna reinforce it so it'll all stay together really well. You can use paper towel, toilet paper, or even some tissue paper. I've printed this graphic off on my laser jet printer and I'm just gonna use my ruler and just rip around the edges. I find using this type of a ruler, it gives kind of a ragged edge and that's what I'm looking for for this graphic little bit of instant coffee and water and I'm just dabbing it all over that paper so we can give it an antique old feel. Now while we're waiting for that coffee stain label to dry I'm just going to use that same sponge with the coffee solution and just sponge it all over top of that toilet paper that we decoupaged on that jar. It's going to give it a really old antique feel and it's going to seep into all of those cracks and crevices. My coffee stained label is all dry and I have some of this dye ink and I'm just going to rub it around that ragged edge of the paper just to give it a little bit of more of an aged look and then we're going to decoupage it right on top of that jar. Just going to put a light amount over that whole label and then center it right where we want it on the jar and we've taken a glass jar from the recycling bin and upcycled it into a really spooky piece of Halloween decor. A little tip when you're working with a jar and it's rolling around, grab your lint roller and it'll stick to it and keep it in place while you're working with it on the table. Once I have everything in place, I'm just taking the Mod Podge and putting a light coat over the label and the rest of the jar. I went out to my garden and I looked for some old weeds and some dead flowers to fill it up with. And how easy was this to create a really spooky piece of Halloween decor for your home? Next project, I had this candlestick. It was already black, but I wanna make it even more spooky. And I had this pillar candle that I picked up at the dollar store. I'm gonna incorporate that into this project. Now, if you wanna create some faux rust, this is a great tip. Get some Mod Podge and just dab a little bit on wherever you think it would have naturally aged or naturally rusted. Just dab it on here and there. And then while it's still wet, you're gonna take your cinnamon and you're going to sprinkle it right into that Mod Podge. And then you're gonna set it aside and let it dry. Now we're gonna customize a candle. I made my own napkin. This is a really neat technique. I have a full tutorial. If you haven't seen that, I'll put the link down below in the description, but you can basically make any of your own custom napkins. I printed this off on my laser jet printer and we're going to add it onto that pillar candle. We're going to get some wax paper and with the waxy side, we're gonna wrap it really tightly around that candle, bunch it up at the back, and then we're gonna use our heat gun and we're going to apply heat to that napkin and candle. And as the wax melts, that napkin is also going to melt right into that candle. If you don't have a heat gun, you can also use a hair dryer and just have it on the highest setting. You'll be able to tell when it's finished because the wax will have soaked right through to that napkin, peel away the wax paper, and you're left with a spooky graphic on your candle. 
I've made these candles before and I've had some people concerned about whether the napkin would catch fire as it burned down. I've never had that issue, but here's a way to solve that. Burn the candle down until you can get a votive right in the top of it. And then you can just replace the votive and you'll never use up that candle also and it'll last a long time. I've let the Mod Podge dry and I'm just wiping away any of that extra cinnamon. And as we do that, it's going to leave a really rusty look. Then I'm gonna seal it up with some matte polyacrylic sealer. So we've taken that black plain candlestick and made it look rusty and old. I also had this mason jar lid and I am going to just use my Gorilla Glue and glue it on the top. And this is what I created. Next project is a scrap piece of wood that I've painted with some black and white homemade chalk paint and a bat that I found at a yard sale this summer. I really distressed both pieces with some 80 grit sandpaper, making it look old and spooky. And I'm gonna take some of my green acrylic paint and I'm just gonna flick it everywhere on top of that sign, just so it looks like it's chippy and old. I'm gonna put a graphic on this using my Mod Podge reverse graphic transfer method. Printed this off on my laser jet printer, making sure to reverse the text, and we're gonna use a Mod Podge mat. All of these graphics that I'm using today and any of these projects are available in my Etsy store, so you can head over there after the video and check them out. Putting a light coat over that whole piece of computer paper, gonna center it where I want it on the sign, and then set it aside and let it dry for 24 hours. After the 24 hours, we're gonna dampen it with a little bit of water, rub off all of that paper, and we're gonna be left with a spooky graphic on our sign. Now I want it to go in and those little drips of blood, I've taken my acrylic paint and I'm just painting on any of those drips with the red paint and just making it look like it's drippy and gory. I went through my stash and I found this old spring, not even sure what it was off of, but it's gonna work perfect for this sign. I have these little staples. I'm going to put one on each end of the sign and then I'm gonna wire that spring on the top so it creates a really fun hanger for this sign. So here's our before and here is what I created. appreciate a good DIY project, you need to subscribe to Skillshare. If you've ever had any questions or just want to learn more about crafting, then Skillshare is a place for you. Skillshare is an online video-based platform where you can learn anything from photography to calligraphy. And the difference between Skillshare and YouTube and why I like it so much is it is focused on interaction, much like being in the real life classroom. The instructor lays out steps and information in a way that's easy to comprehend. It's also ad free, so you can stay in the zone while exploring new skills. With new classes being launched every week, there's always something to discover. I just finished taking Olga's Halloween cookie class and it was so much fun. I've certainly taken my cookie skills to the next level because of Olga's class. So you should join Skillshare to learn a new skill. The first thousand people to use the link on my description box will get one month free trial of Skillshare. So try it out and let me know what you think. Next project is another candle. I had both of these in my stash for a long time, but I knew I could transform them into something really spooky for Halloween. Gonna mix up some baking soda paint and apply it all over that candlestick holder. If you haven't never made baking soda paint, it works fantastic, creates really great texture. I'll put a link down below in the description so you can check it out. Once it's almost dry, I'm gonna roll it in mud. Just roll it so it gets in all those little nooks and crannies and push it right in so it looks grubby and dirty. And then I'm gonna set it aside and let it dry. Now I'm gonna go in with some gold metallic paint, some acrylic paint that I picked up at Michael's and I'm just gonna dab it here and there, almost like a dry brush on any high areas where it was raised on the candlestick. Not adding very much, just a little bit here and there. Then I'm gonna set it aside, let it dry completely, and then I'm going to seal it up with some matte clear polyacrylic sealer. I've put the taper candle 
in the candlestick holder and now I've taken another votive and I'm lighting it and what I'm going to do is as everything is burning down and melting I'm going to melt some more wax so it drips down that candle so it gives that old really antique look to that candle as if it's burned forever and just dripped all over the place and just be really careful doing this process. We don't wanna burn ourselves or get any hot wax on us. And I'm just rotating the candle around so it's dripping everywhere. So here's our before, and here is what I created. I hope you enjoyed today's spectacular upcycles and I'd love to know down in the comments which one was your favorite. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you in the next video. And if you love this video, I'm sure you'll love either of these next two.